Welcome to the reality <laughs> of quarantine and lockdown. Not pretty, not pretty at all. <laughs> Hello, so it is day three of lockdown or kind of like a lockdown light <laughs> here in the UK. Um, this is how I've looked for the past week and a bit. <laughs> Um, I actually have an Olaplex treatment in my hair, so I'm gonna go and wash that out in a second. I did put some tan on as well, but I've run out of my favorite and also my second favorite tans. So I'm just using like little bits of what I've got left um, just around and I'm not gonna name and shame, but I'm not impressed. It's not done very much. But um, I'm gonna go and wash that off anyway and then I will come back. So hello, I am back. Um, I went and just washed the treatment out of my hair, it feels amazing. And I went and made myself some lunch and stuff as well. So my hair's kind of 80% dry, it still looks a little bit wet around the roots. I hope everyone is doing well. It is scary, scary times. <laughs> um, I'm laughing, but only so that I don't cry. Um, so let's just sit and do some makeup and chill out that's all we can do at the moment um if you're stuck at home anyway if you're still going out to work or if you're working in essential services and things well done because it is scary out there so i'm gonna start off just with a very very light base um i think it's important to keep your normal routines and stuff especially in kind of really weird times like this uh, so most days I have still been putting on a little bit of makeup. It's actually nice because most days I'm too busy to wear any makeup. I'm normally up very early in the morning. So I don't bother. My priority is just getting out the door. So I'm going to do just a light base. That's what I've been doing all week. I have recently discovered the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation and it is incredible. I'm a full coverage foundation wearer. Don't really get on with tinted moisturizers or bb creams um, because my skin does get a little bit oily so they're normally there's cats everywhere as usual just ignore the meows <laughs> they think quarantine is great because i'm here all the time and i've just been pestered constantly by them so they are the i think pets are the real winners of this situation because they have their humans with them all day now but yeah i'm a full coverage foundation person i just I don't get on with BB creams and things they just slide off my skin this is amazing it's like everything that I want a really lightweight foundation to be um it covers but it kind of you can see your skin through it but I found that any blemishes and redness discoloration it somehow magically covers those but leaves you looking very very natural still and um, I've been so pleased with this I have the color nude 2 um, and I'm using this beautiful Real Techniques brush. You'll see what I mean, hopefully. It gives just, it gives you cover where you need it. And I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure how it's doing it. I don't understand how that works. Um, it is just everything I've wanted in a kind of lightweight foundation, tinted moisturizer sort of formula. Um, and it doesn't leave me looking super, super shiny a couple of hours after I apply it. I absolutely love this. Do you see what I mean? That's one light layer. And you can still kind of see blemishes and stuff over here. I did start on this side, so this side's got a bit more coverage. But I just can't believe that. I love how my skin's evened out, but it still really looks like skin. And it feels so comfortable as well. That's another problem that I have with tinted moisturisers and BB creams, those kinds of products, is that... For me, on my skin, they just don't sit right. They don't feel good. Hello, hello, grumps. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen the meme that's going around of like, oh, I can't remember what it says, but it's pictures of people's bad haircuts from school. And it says something like, oh, it's not gonna be long before we all go back to mum's home hair salon. And <laughs> grumps back here has already fallen victim to that. She has, well, I've had to give her quite a bad haircut because we can't get the groomer to come out. She gets really matted. She's still very matted from where I adopted her. She was not very well taken care of in her previous home. Um, but yeah, she got um, some food stuck in her fur and I had to cut it out, so. Yeah, you had a bad haircut, didn't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't get enough of this Nude Sticks foundation. It is so, so highly recommended by me. I never actually thought I would find 
any kind of lightweight foundation that would tick every box for me and that one does. I also have a new favourite concealer. Well, it's not new, I've had it for a while, but I just haven't mentioned it on here. It's the Hourglass, what is this called? The Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It is expensive, but it's so, so pigmented. I feel like this is gonna last me a very long time. Um, I have the shade Birch, which as you can see is super, super bright. So if you were to wear it full coverage, you would need to be very, very spot on with the shade. Um, you can see just how much that's brightening my under eyes. I'm kind of going to spread spread what I've applied on my brush just out over my whole face and just really, really sheer it down because I don't need that much coverage today. So that is just two little dots of concealer blended out over my whole face. That's all the coverage I want. I would want, if I was gonna wear this very full coverage, I probably would want a slightly darker shade, but I'm quite happy with that just for a lighter coverage. Um, and even blended out, it's just really, really given my skin a bit of a boost over the Nude Sticks foundation. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend that. I do think it's worth the money. I know Hourglass products are really pricey, but I think that concealer in particular is totally worth it. I'm gonna go in and just buff over my foundation and concealer with the middle powder, the Soft Focus powder in this Too Faced Compact. I'm still absolutely loving this. It is just so, so perfect. I have no complaints about this. I really, really love it. I love that powder has come on such a long way. Like a lot of my clients, um, so I'm a, if you are new here, <laughs> I'm a makeup artist um, professionally. A lot of my clients are very scared of powder. They think it's going to make their makeup look cakey and dry, but this just absolutely will not. None of these um, powders or highlighters in here are going to give you that kind of caked on effect. Um, so yeah, just, just I guess the technology has come on such a long way. I totally stole this product from another YouTuber. I don't know how many of you watch Gemma Louise Miles. Um, her videos are so, so good. I'll link her channel below because I love watching her videos. So if you've never checked out her channel, make sure you do. But she was using this. It costs two pounds and it's from Primark. It's the PS My Perfect Color Foundation Pressed Powder, <laughs> bit of a mouthful, um, in the shade Cinnamon. She mentioned that she uses this as a bronzer and again I've had this a while as well and I've been really testing it out. Um, I just love it for £2. This is perfect. I love the colour. I love that because it is a pressed powder rather than a bronzer it's quite sheer um, and it's very very blendable as well so if you're kind of not too sure about whether a bronzer is for you this would be fantastic. It also means that I don't mind just chucking it in my handbag. Um, so if I know that I'm gonna be having a really long day or whatever, or I'm going out after work, something like that, I don't mind just chucking this in my handbag for later because it's two pounds. You're not throwing your like 30 pound NARS bronzer in your handbag. So I'm kind of putting that all over because it is sheer. So I'm not gonna look too tangoed or anything. And I wouldn't mind kind of a healthy glow at the moment just to perk me up a little bit. Another product I've spoken about in a recent video, it's the KVD Vegan Beauty, not sure about the name but fine, um, rosebud blusher in the gorgeous packaging of course and I'm just going to pop a little little bit of that on because my foundation's quite sheer. I don't want to go too crazy on blusher uh, because a, a, a bit of colour from my cheeks um, is showing through my base. Um, so I don't want to look too flushed or anything. Um, I will go much heavier on my cheeks if I'm wearing a full coverage base. And then I'm really going to brighten up just the kind of centre part of my cheekbone. This is one that I've had for ages. It's a matte powder blush. I think the shade is called Shock Tactics from Topshop. I'm not even confident they stock these anymore, but I'll have a look online just in case because I love it. I love anything orangey for my cheeks because I do get a bit of redness anything orangey doesn't come up very orange on me um so if you have say acne that you're trying to cover on your cheeks if you have redness um if you have just naturally quite a high color to your cheeks use an orangey toned blush and trust me 
if you've been too nervous to wear blush for that reason you will just absolutely fall in love with it again it kind of counteracts all the pink and red tones in your skin so i'm being quite kind of well i'm not being precise at all with this i want it to just look very very natural then I'm going to go over just with my powder brush and just really blend that out. I just want a little bit of brightness. So I'm pretty happy with my base. Because I've used a luminous powder all over, I don't want any extra highlight. I mean, I look, I don't look quite as glowy as I'd want to be right now, but I know that my skin in an hour or two will be very, very glowy once that makeup is settled in. Um, so I'm going to skip highlighter and move on to eyes. I primed my eyes just with a little bit of concealer. I'm not too worried about uh, using an eye primer today just because I know that I'm not going to wear much eye makeup. I'm actually going to go back in with the Cinnamon Press Powder by Primark and just a big fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to take this through the crease of my eyes and just blend it out on the outer corners a little bit. So I'm kind of making like... Just a really soft winged eye shape. Just know that that works for my eyes, so it makes sense. And I'm gonna take a pencil brush and just pop that underneath my eyes as well. I don't know if you can hear Grumps purring in the background. <laughs> She's so loud. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, this has been one of the most stressful weeks ever. And I say this, you know, knowing that other people are suffering with their health right now that there's lots of awful awful things going on but let me tell you as a freelancer as someone who's self-employed that it's been one of the most terrifying weeks of my life once people started kind of um learning more about the pandemic i basically lost a year's worth of bookings overnight one minute everything was fine Look at me touching my face, like, oh, I promise I have clean hands. Um, one minute everything's fine. Next day I woke up and pretty much every client that I have for the rest of 2020 has now cancelled. So, yeah, a year's of bookings completely vanished. Um, currently the government is offering no help for self-employed people, no income protection, nothing um you can apply for universal credit but that's not even going to cover my household bills let alone the bills i pay out for my business running costs um so i'm hoping that this week it is wednesday today I'm hoping this week or early next week they will announce that something is going to be put in place for self-employed and freelance workers because yeah that's that's gonna be gonna be interesting um yeah, I'm basically looking at a year of having a very, very reduced income. Um, anyone that knows me, any of my clients know that I work really, really hard. Um, and I've worked for seven years to build up my business. Um, and yeah, it was awful. But what made it more awful were the things people were saying to me. So some of my clients just, and I know everyone's stressed out, but were just vile. I had abuse coming at me left, right and centre from a handful of people and being in isolation and dealing with that alone was the worst thing I've had to go through in a few years. It has just been horrible. So I think um, I'm hoping that that's all been dealt with now but oh you know I know people are stressed out but come on let's all be nice to each other you might have to reschedule your booking I'm looking at not paying my bills for a year it's stressful for everyone um but yeah hopefully that's all finished now I'm gonna go in and highlight my eyes using my fave my Jaclyn Hill flash palette I think I'm gonna use this kind of peachy shade just here um so yeah, back to my current life issues. Um, I know it'll all sort itself out. Money always sorts itself out sooner or later, whatever. Um, I um, you know, have dealt with anyone that's been particularly nasty, but it has taken a toll on me personally. Um, I still feel pretty shit, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Again, I'm laughing about it because that's how I deal with serious stuff. Um, so yeah, I really hope that everyone is okay and 
if you're stressing about anything leave a comment and what I have found is that there are still so many nice people around so leave a comment and we'll all perk you up the youtube community as a whole is just so lovely um i've well one of the nice things about being isolated for the past week is that i've really caught up on um, all my favorite channels and people are just so nice and it's so nice to see creators putting out more content i mean it makes sense because everyone's kind of at home and looking for things to do making videos watching videos it gives everybody something to keep them occupied so that's been lovely and just seeing the community on here as well is really really nice so if you're as sad as i am leave a comment down below and i'm sure everyone will give you a little pep talk normally when i'm this sad i get another cat but i think i have my hands full with these three so <laughs> maybe i won't well that being said i have volunteered to foster a kitty um i'm in my makeup room right now but this is also the room where i take client appointments obviously it's not really being used at the moment so if there are any kitties in need um i have registered my details so um yeah maybe i'll end up doing some fostering um i've put myself forward for some other voluntary stuff as well because i'm the kind of person that just needs to be busy um, and if I can do something constructive, I'm all for it. So I'm gonna pop this golden shade, it's called Iced, um, just over my lids. These are so intense when you apply them with an eyeshadow brush. I just, this palette is just so, so good. I'm gonna pop some mascara on. I'm also gonna put this brow gel. It's my favorite, favorite Charlotte Tilbury one. The Legendary Brows in the shade Linda. Pop a bit of that through my brows and then I'll come back. So I now have mascara on, brows on, just a very, very light brow using the Charlotte Tilbury brow gel. And I'm gonna go for a lip. This is always my favorite part. I love lipstick so much. Um, and I'm gonna use a bit of an unsung hero in my makeup bag. I didn't think I was such a big IT Cosmetics fan, but clearly I am. I have two of these lip liners. I have this one just here, Buff Nude. And then I have one that I think I like just a little bit better. Cannot find it anywhere. Haven't been able to find it for weeks. So let's hope that turns up at some point soon. I think it's called Blushing Nude. Um, they're relatively similar. The, the other one is kind of slightly more of a pink nude, whereas this is like a beige nude. Um, I love them both. Uh, it's Your Lips But Better by It Cosmetics. And I'm gonna use this just to lightly line my lips. You can see that that's not a world of difference from my natural lip color. Um, so I really love it for a nude lip because if you don't wanna go for that 90s lip with the kind of defined line, slightly darker liner, this is amazing. For my skin tone, it's very, very natural. Um, and also because it's that kind of waxy textured pencil, um, it gives you that really soft line around the edge of your lips, which is way more natural as well. My lips are lined and I'm gonna use a real favorite lipstick of mine. I get so much joy from using this color. I just love it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Angel Alessandra and it is this peachy kind of color. It's not a bright peach, um, but it's not a nude either. And normally I hate peach lipstick on me. I just, as much as I want to love it, doesn't suit me at all but this one I absolutely love it's just so perfect so there we go my finished quarantine makeup super super easy this would be so easy to do when things are back to normal um you know when you're busy again and have things to do this would be super easy to put on before work or whatever super super quick if I wasn't filming this I could do it in a few minutes no problem let me know what you've been getting up to this past week or if you've been isolating for longer than that. Um, give me some tips, give me some advice. So far, now that the kind of, fingers crossed, I really hope really horrible bit with work is over, I do feel a lot more chilled out. I feel a lot calmer. I feel so grateful and so lucky that I have a lovely, safe place to be right now um, and that I get to spend time with these guys she's so loud at the moment her pairing is it sounds like there's a tiny motorbike back there i'd be really surprised if you can't hear it 
Um, so yeah, I feel very, very grateful that I have a safe space with all the things I need. Um, I'm also super grateful that Disney Plus launched yesterday. <laughs> I can see that um, being my main source of entertainment. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I watched The Hunchback of Notre Dame last night and I'm gonna watch Monsters Inc later. And then maybe tomorrow I'm gonna watch The New Lady and the Tramp. I've been so excited to see that. Um, so that has been brilliant. I pre-ordered it ages ago and it felt like it would just never ever um, arrive. But um, here we are, perfect timing. Yeah, let me know what you've been doing, what you've been up to, how you've been dealing with this. Um, if you are still going out to work, if you are still doing one of those really important jobs, you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Um, and the least we can all do right now is stay home until all this blows over. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave me a comment and like and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.